up guys? Hey, it's me, Raymond, back here with Vicris. And today what we're going to do is we're going to do a simple mud flap installation on our Tesla. It's just going to be a pretty easy process. It won't take you that long. Uh, there are multiple different ways that you guys can do it. The mud flaps provide uh, self-tapping screws, or if you don't want to drill into your uh, car, you guys could use 3M tape. So what we are going to do is we're going to go with the 3M tape. If you could line it up perfectly, but you are going to have to basically do some drilling then, to line up the mud flaps which are OEM hole, like the bolts that come in that all on your liner. You guys can go ahead and use that too. But for us, we're simply gonna use the 3M tape today. So on this side, right here in the front, you can kind of already see there's only one mud flap installed. I went ahead and did this one just to like kind of outline it of what I'm gonna need to do, how far out am I gonna to have to put it outwards from here, and then like where I'm gonna, cause since I use 3M, I gotta see like where I have to line it up with the liner right here on the inside. So you can see right here, this is how it would basically look, make it look flush. And then I also did the back one too, which we'll show you guys in a bit. And you can see like right here, we kind of make it flush right here at the very top and you have to go sideways. But that is how it is supposed to look on your vehicle. Now we're gonna go ahead and show you guys how, basically the simple process of installing it on with the 3M tape. So we got the two mud flaps right here. As you can see what we kind of went with is we went with a drive carbon finish. Usually when you guys order the mud flaps and you get them, you get them in the black texture because that's like the basic one. But if you guys want, you can see here, we ended up uh, choosing dry carbon. You guys could choose gloss carbon, uh, gloss black, satin black, matte black, or urban camo and stuff like all the textures that we use for like the front squares and side squares and the diffuser add-ons. Uh, unfortunately, you can't add tin, um, trim because it is very thin. If only we did make trim that small, but we're gonna go ahead and show you the process of everything. All right, so since this is the front, if you guys realize you're not gonna put 3M tape straight down because then you won't have any of this section of what you want popping out. So when you put the 3M tape, you do have to go at an angle. So it'd be able to like show off where the, like the mud flat basically. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Very simple. We're gonna start off from the top at an angle and kind of line it up and I'm not gonna go all the way down in the for the front one. I'm gonna go stop somewhere about right here because when you have this part right here, the bomb section of the mud flap hanging off, um, it's not really grabbing onto anything. So you just wanna kind of just give it the 3M tape right here only where you're gonna attach it to the liner. You can get right here a little Vicris X-Acto knife. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut it, the 3M tape right there and peel it off just like that. So basically this is how much you need of it. And if you kind of want to see it before you even take off the, three, the protective cover, you guys could go ahead, you know, kind of like line it up and stuff. So that's what we're going to do with us. So first I'm going to go ahead and line it up. So basically like where I want it to go is again, you would have to start off flush right here. So you kind of see the top is going to have to be somewhat flush of a way. And you just want to line it up to see like the way, how far you want it. I'm going to go a little bit more down somewhere about right here. So give yourself like an inch and a half down space or depending how far you want it, you just wanna be able to make sure you see the mud flap. So that's how we're gonna put it. And I'm guessing I might have to cut a little bit more 3M tape off. So I'm gonna do that. I have it lined up right where I'm gonna have to cut it. So I'm gonna go ahead, cut off the excess 3M tape. And then when I'm before you do apply it, you are gonna wanna clean off the area because since it is dirty, if you put 3M tape, you're gonna get it, it's not gonna attach very well because what it's gonna do is it's gonna basically pick up all the dirt and not even attach the car and it's just gonna straight fall off. And let me cut off the excess right here where I have it lined up. Like that. And then now since this is how much I'm gonna use and I know where I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna go ahead and clean off the area. And right here, I got a little mixture of water and alcohol. You could use soapy water too if you want to, or maybe go give your car a wash before, but I'm just go ahead and clean it off a bit. Just like that. Because I don't want any of the mud or trash to like hit the 3M tape first. So remember either alcohol with a little bit of water or soap water, depending on how you want to clean it. And then once we get all this cleaned off, now we're gonna go ahead and attach the mud flap. So right here, now that I'm gonna go ahead, what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna detach the red covering right here on the 3M, just do it like that. And then to kind of help with the 3M to get a good grip before I apply it, I'm gonna go ahead and get some adhesive promoter. It's just like a little strong liquid. If no one knows what it is, it's just like a liquid that you apply onto the 3M tape. It comes like this on a little brush. 
Just go ahead and apply it onto there. You can do a little, you can do a lot. If you want to get like, make sure it gets extra grip. And that should be good enough. And once you got it on there, you just go ahead and apply, put on the mud flap. Remember the same way how we wanted it earlier. And go ahead and do it like that. Make sure it's flush. And then you want to line it up just like that. You could also use a heat gun to kind of give it like a little heat so then the 3MK also grab onto it and make the uh, mud flap a little flexible. They're already flexible enough, but just in case you want to do it, you guys could go ahead and put a little pressure on it for like a couple seconds, move it around. Very simple install. So being that that was the front, I'm gonna go ahead then and move over to the second one, which is the rear. Same thing with this one, not all the way. So I'm gonna stop about right here. Just like that. And then I already went up ahead and already cleaned off the area. Kind of line this up. See if I put the 3M tape correctly. Now that I got it lined up the way I want it, just go ahead and do the same process like I did in the front. Take off the red strip. Okay, 3M adhesive promoter. Put a lot on this one because it's the back area. And then also if you guys kind of want to as well, if you guys just don't want to do 3M by itself, you guys could do both. You know, put the 3M first to hold it in place. Then after that, you could just go ahead and screw it in. Again, if you guys want to, you guys could go ahead and do it with a little heat gun just to give it a little bit more grip, and just like that. Again, like I did say, if you guys want to as well with the 3M, you guys could use the uh, self-tapping screws that are provided if you guys want to to give it like a double, make sure it gets like good grip onto it. You got the 3M tape holding in and then you just go ahead and drill in the screws that where you want them at. And that's basically it. That or the liner screws again, yeah too. Uh, which eventually what you would have to do is basically take off the liner first not take it off but take off the screws line up where the screws go drill in the holes mark them put the 3m tape and then you would use like just screw them back basically so it's very simple you know it's up to your guys' preference 3m tape only self-tapping screws or the oem liner screws or if you guys want to do both just go ahead and do it it's just up to you so yeah like i said very simple very easy all right guys well that's it for this installation video like i said it was quick and easy hope you guys enjoyed it so much stay tuned for more private videos and again see you in the future don't forget to like comment subscribe on our youtube channel go ahead and follow us on our social medias at bikers.com on ig tiktok and facebook we appreciate all the support you guys stay tuned for more future products we love y'all see you guys next time